Okay, then, first thing on our very long to do list, we're going to talk with uh, Jean de Bao, another spectre standing right outside Commander Bailey's office. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Salarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, remember when you helped me get KG's Grey Box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? I thought we destroyed that information to keep you safe. There were enough clues left for me to piece things together when I... got curious. It was big enough to leak it to Bao. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Another reunion? That just happened right out of the blue. All right, let's uh, access the Spectre terminal and get these uh, missions underway along with any others. I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good Spectre. The galaxy needs... What about Shepard? And the fact that he's trying... Okay, then what the hell exactly happened to Kasumi in the period where Shepard got uh, got arrested or got put on lockdown back on planet Earth up until now? But anyway, I digress. Welcome back, everybody, to yet another episode of my Mass Effect 3 series from the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I'm Shadowstar91, and in today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, we shall be uh, uh, on the Citadel for the duration of this video. To um, wow, I have some undertake a very long to do list of side quests to complete, days. undertake whilst we're on the Citadel. One or two of them might require us to exit the Citadel and to return. I'll check personal I think there's only one to do right now. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What if I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working what the hell family. happened to you, Kasumi? Beforehand, you were more than cooperative. Now, you're definitely more snobby and stuck up. What the actual uh, fuck? Alun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kajay. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war. And you try Whoa. to pull everyone into it. What the hell, Kasumi? Reapers win? And if people can't, don't help us out, we're all going to lose. So, what the actual fuck is your attitude problem right now? Okay, so for this one right here... I am, like I just done, I am going to be supporting the uh, refugee who's trying to get in. Commander Shepard, if that's what you think, I'll find them some room. So my family can dock? Commander Shepard says your family's cleared. Just tell them to hurry. I... You're very welcome. Thank you so much. 
Okay, and then let's just double check everything around here. Because it's always good to be thorough. Some uh, side quests whilst we're on the Citadel here will require us to venture back and forth between each of the uh, lab each of the levels. And some might just take place on the same level, etc. And if anybody has missed any other of my previous... Uh, oh, hang on. Yeah, so... Whilst we were traveling out in the Waiting galaxy, some of which I do off camera, I picked up the uh, pillars of the Batarians pl pillars of strength, and I've delivered it to these uh, it, to the individual that needs those uh, pillars to help uh, the Batarians stay strong, even though they are fucking uh, scumbags. Hold on a second, Yeoman Kelly Chambers. It's been way too long. It's really you. I could just hug you. It's good to see you too, Kelly. <sighs> I've been so worried. Without my Cerberus contacts, I had no way of knowing if you'd survived the invasion. You're not with Cerberus anymore? Working with you opened my eyes, got me thinking. I looked closely at what Cerberus had done. In good conscience, I couldn't stay with them. You inspired me to leave. Come back to the Normandy. Please believe me. <laughs> I want nothing more than to be with you again, but I can't. Ever since the Collectors abducted us, I relive it every night. I see Joker running out. Then that cold hand pulls me back. They're above me, around me. They stuff me into that coffin, and I'm relieved. They aren't touching me anymore. But then it's so small. You can't breathe. It seems like forever. I watched people melt. God. Hey. It's okay. I'm fine. I just... Can't step back onto the Normandy. I'm sorry. Don't be. And even if I could, I shouldn't. I'm making a difference here. If there was ever a reason I studied psychology, it was to help people at a time like this. Okay, so the next dialogue option I'm going to choose right now will definitely Don't save Kelly in Chambers circle. in the long run. And I'll explain Change later after that particular level has Not taken place. Because trust me on this. Do it, Kelly. Okay, I will. Um, the level in question will so have uh, lots of people meeting their end on the citadel right choosing this dialogue option will avoid uh oh, kelly chambers nobody was going to take uh, them with you in custody help, so or help kelly them. chambers avoid that death or well, avoid that outcome please be careful and i'd want to apologize in advance if you do hear me hesitating stuttering struggling and or botching any of my sentence pronunciations throughout any of my videos ladies and gentlemen with me being an autistic individual, talking is not one of my strongest points, but I'll do my utmost best to bring Let's you all the best the content that I'm possibly able to. Yes, sir. What's and going on, on here, Garrus? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. This definitely does not look good. Let's see what's going on here. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. You don't have to tell me twice, and holy fuck, I you did not realize it was getting that bad. Oh yeah, the one based on that war hero? 
We locked it after some I'm quite surprised how oh, fucking uh, brain dead that bitch is right now. Oh yeah, that co a, a copy of that war hero, right? She didn't even turn her head to re realize that Shepard was standing right next to her. Fucking hell. I've got a list of new Hanor arrivals, Bob. Forwarding it to you. Oh, I completely forgot Hanar go by two forms of names. On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? See, Jacob could have gotten. Why would he be the only one? I'm touched. Fucking hell. Mass Effect 2, she was uh, cool to work with, level-headed, and interacting with everybody. Now, I just don't know what to say. Oh, fucking hell. And also, we have officially found the motherfucking Hanar in question. So, with that, we are going to be heading back up to the Citadel embassies. Right over here. And there is John Dunbar to give us a hand. And Kasumi Goto in as well. Zamandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big, stupid jellyfish. You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. I don't think the Enkindlers are going to be doing anything today. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. You may be delayed. Help him. I'll handle this. Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the. Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors. And she just gave her life to save the Hanar homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor. With a few friends. You can come out now. How'd you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're going to check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep, nice working with you again. All right then, so Kasumi Goto is back on board, but this time for the war effort, and not for the squad member. All right, next on our to-do list, we are heading down to the Purgatory Bar, so the next level down. And we're actually going to be meeting up with uh, someone very infamous inside after we've uh, 
met up with, uh, if I remember correctly, James is down here as well. And I'm just standing next to these two CSEC officers to just to double check whether or not they give out a uh, side quest or not. Okay then, so no side quest. But we have picked that one from this individual right here. And we won't be able to pick that one up uh, until a little bit later. Not too far, but not too, too soon. You know what I mean. Yep, so we are act Hang on. Oh, yeah. There was also one other thing. We pe we also managed to collect uh, something out in the galaxy as well. The banner of the very of the first regiment for the Turian for the Turian military. I'll hold you to that. And next up, we're gonna meet that with James. See what he's been up to. Hey, Commander, nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by a loco. Uh huh. What'd you mean? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah. They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human, just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet you in the flesh. You should buy them around. It'll impress them. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks. But we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part of that. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Loco. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. You're welcome, James, and thanks for the heads up. Okay then, so that very infamous person we're going to meet, she is actually over here, and you did hear me right. She is over there, but I'm just going to quickly double check up here. Uh, nope, no one up here. And now we're going to meet up with the in infamous person, and that person being so Arya Talok. Yes, and it only took CSEC three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, 
They were too entrenched. If it were me, I'd want revenge. Glad to see we think alike. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. I am still quite surprised she got the uh, sorry counselor to automatically uh, get her, th her through immigration processing. That was impressive. Okay then, so first things first on our to-do list for um, Arya's help, we're actually going to go talk with Commander Bailey, and then we're going to go down to the Presidium Commons. Because, um, as the old saying goes, two birds with one stone. Because <clears throat> there will be another task for Arya's uh, help located on the Presidium Commons. All right then, Bailey, we need, we need talk. Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the C-Sec outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Just a quick heads up. One other thing did jog my memory whilst the conversation with Bailey was underway. We are actually going to be heading back down to the Normandy docks, and that is D-O-C-K-S YouTube, not the other thing you thought I'd said. Because there is actually another mercenary task to get underway before we head up to the Presidium Commons, and that is to talk with the, I think it's the current leader of the Blue Suns mercenaries, because if you haven't seen Mass Effect 2, um, I won't spoil it, but for all those who have played Mass Effect 2, you all know what I'm talking about. And for all those who are new to my channel, everybody, I hereby welcome you. And if you do like what you see, please do myself a favor. Please consider hitting the subscribe button down below, along with the bell, so you can receive notifications for when new content has been released onto my channel. And for all those who do consider hitting the subscribe button down below, you truly are a legendary individual, and it always helps my channel expand little by little. Every time you do hit the button down below, and it always helps expand my channel out to the furthest corner of the vid current video platform, because at the moment, YouTube are fucking useless. And here we are, we're going to talk with Darner Vosk. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Araka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. 
Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You won't have to worry about Oraka for long. Love it. Commander Shepard taking out the Blue Suns trash, huh? That Arya is sure something special. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you can get him to lay off. No need to candy coat it, Arya. Ah, oh, Shepard. You think you know me so well. I just don't see why you couldn't tell me the details yourself. Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? <laughs> we all have our delusions. Yeah, this new leader of the Blue Suns definitely seems a lot more delusional than the previous one. Who the fuck does that? A shipment's already been uh, allocated to go somewhere, and then someone moves it somewhere else. Who the f who the f low who the fuck of a low life scumbag does stuff like that? Especially at a time like this is going on now on the Citadel. Fucking hell. Urgh. But anyway, be before actually. We head down to the Presidium Commons. We're actually going to go check in with Ashley in Huerta Memorial. And we're going to go reunite with uh, one other person that we know. And there he is. And of course, to clear up all uh, side quests and deliver all collectibles we picked up whilst exploring the galaxy. And ladies and gentlemen, we have officially reunited with Thane. Commander Shepard. He seems to be holding up okay, considering his uh, long-term illness. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me. Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. 
It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. Until we meet again, Thane. Be careful out there. Okay, this one, it's either support the visitor or support the receptionist. I'm supporting the receptionist. Because if memory serves me right, we're supporting the receptionist that uh, keeps things civil, level headed. The visitor, just a snobby, stuck up bitch who just wants things run her way. Yeah, I'm going to save my credits for now. We talked to Dr. Michelle during our first visit to the Citadel. And yes, here we go. That's another one. I heard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone. But I found this while I was there. Mm, what is it? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly Glad I right. could be of assistance. Thank you. I think that is all for n Yeah, that is all for now. So we're going to go check in with Ashley. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. Udina, why the fuck the are you there? has need of exceptional soldiers like you now more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Udina, I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. Here, I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other, or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. Okay. Get some rest. If you need anything at all, let me know. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. I have my moments, believe me. You know, I'm glad to hear it. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. So, what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at Gunnery, Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so, too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, <laughs> you know. 
It was the Reapers, Ash. You did the best you could, and survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's... It's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean... I'll fight with honor and courage, sir. Roger that, Elsie. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're past that. Fresh start. It's gonna take time. Copy that. But not too long. The bad guys aren't taking coffee breaks. Okay, okay, what is this? Healing through guilt? Seems to be working. Who's back on Earth? Mom, plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. You too, Shepard. Glad to hear that she's um, given the Spectre offer some uh, serious thought. And now with that done, we're going to be heading out of Mem Huerta Memorial and heading down to the Presidium Commons this time. Now that we've got a few other things sorted from our to-do list. You two could save lives. Don't do anything God. stupid. Stay here. Help out wherever you can so people don't burn themselves out. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Grab that. Thank you. And Oh, Reckoner Knight, my favorite armor model. Give me, give me, give me. Yeah, I'm going to leave the weapon modification upgrades for now. Where's... Fuck! I don't have enough! That Aquarium VI it would be very helpful for feeding your fish. So you don't have to... For, so you don't have to, like, constantly... Go on a mission, go, go up to your cabin, feed your fish. Go on a mission, go up to your cabin, feed the fish. That Aquarium VI actually does help you out. Those fires aren't so you don't have to worry so much. If you can help. Because unfortunately, uh, Com Specialist Trainer doesn't give you the same offer that Kelly, Gilman Kelly Chambers did in Mass Effect 2, where Kelly actually offered to feed you fish, whereas Samantha Trainer does not. All right then. We're selling cost plus three percent. Glad you two was it were able to uh, sort out your little argument. All right, next up, I just got to double check over here for something. Oh no, I got to wait a bit longer because there is a side quest we can pick up from someone staying over there. We're actually going to go meet up with uh, Arya's contact regarding the blood pack to get them on board. So here we are. And what the fuck are you talking about right off the bat? What the hell are you talking about? Crete, blood pack's leader. Arya brings him the Greek commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. If this goes wrong, it's your ass. Quiet. I have to look even more powerful than Crick thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this... <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know 
Your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creed. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Creed. Quill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes! Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Appreciate it. So that is the blood pack officially on board. So one down, two to go. And before we get one of the other two underway, what we're actually going to be doing, we're going to go back to one of the vendors over here to purchase the Aquarium VI. Because when I go out on missions, I don't have to worry so much about feeding my fish. And the vendor in question is right over here. Where is that Aquarium VI? Thank you. And now I'll be on my way. All right, then. So next up, like I said before, we're going to get one of the other two um, mercenary missions underway. And the one we're going to be doing is... Uh, what's the name again? Oh, Jonas Sedaris. That's the one. I couldn't remember her name then. <laughs> My bad. And I think I've mentioned this already, but just in case anybody has missed any other of my Mass Effect uh, Legendary Edition videos, any, everybody, I shall leave my current playlist link in the video description down below for your viewing pleasure. So make sure you check that out when you get the chance. And I'll also leave my non-commentary playlist link in the video description as well. Commander Shepard. General Oraka. It's been some time. Last time we saw you, you are completely pissed off your face back, all the way back in Mass Effect 1. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Let me sort that out for you, Jer. Oh, hello. Wait. I remember you two. Oh yeah, I remember these two. These two are arguing all the way back in Mass Effect One as well. For your family, just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. And thank you. Okay, so no other side quests. No one we can talk to over here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I completely forgot. Liara has another side quest for us to undertake. One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. Practical. I like it. You can get started by talking to the Volus Barlavon in his office. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. 
This episode has definitely been reunion central because we've been meeting up with everybody we haven't seen in many, many moons. And no, we're not going to go talk with General Rocker again until we sorted out that issue of CSEC being denied access to high end weapons. What? Edie? What are you doing here? You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing. I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? They'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents. Maybe playing music? I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades. And my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Well, if Edie's here, Joker shouldn't be too far behind. Oh, yeah. And uh, speak of the devil. There he is. Let's hey, check in with him. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments tips on how to make your apartment look bigger and oh yeah a big ass reaper invasion these people have no idea sometimes i think this whole citadel is a mistake what do you mean it's out here in the middle of nowhere defensible safe remember how everyone ignored the geth threat until saren's attack well, let's hope they listen this time i don't know if we'll be able to save their asses again Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. Well, I'm glad to hear Joker's holding up okay. And that uh, he's uh, helping E.D. Uh, gain access to the Citadel so she can go exploring. So she's not stuck in the docking bay. Ah, another uh, mo a model for the captain's cabin. All right, then. Let's go talk with this uh, black mark. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about this one. Support the uh, retail worker or support the customer for getting a refund. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. Look, yeah, like I always support the customer because uh, he ain't gonna leave the worker alone. Yeah, you're right. Let's get this over with. Here, I've sent you a full refund. Welcome to Okay, so nothing there, and we're seriously low on credits right now anyway. <laughs> And again, nothing we can purchase there. Let's go and talk with you, because uh, CSEC need, needs access to your high-end stuff now. These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for CSEC too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with the bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? 
Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. These weapons are for the war. If you don't do your part, I could make your life very unhappy. I, I'm sure you could. But even if you rough me up or, or kill me, my partners won't release the weapons without my okay. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with CSEC, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Yeah, this is one of those side quests that will require you to exit the Citadel and then return once you've uh, acquired the item or items in question. But we will be doing that as soon as we've cleared up a few more side quests, a couple of them being the mercenary uh, quest for Arya. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. It'd be smart to bury the threat, Sedaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Saying my second in command is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. There is a workaround you can actually take to ensure that, uh, what you call the Eclipse, pledge full loyalty to Arya. So Arya keeps him under control. And next up, we're heading back to the vendor where we got the Aquarium VI from because um, someone else we met all the way back in Mass Effect 1 is here. And that being Barlavon <laughs> right on, here. Shepherd. It's been some time. Barlavon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. You used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The broker has been exceedingly busy lately. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux i appreciate the information barlevan and my advice to all those who are playing mass effect 3 for the very first time when you pick up side quests get them done asap when you have access to the specific areas to which these uh, side quests take place and collecting items on these uh, other planets as well because uh, if you don't get them done asap you will not be able to get them done and you will not be able to uh, increase your war effort stats and of course, uh, gain more XP and help you level up, ready for the final battle. All right, then here we go. This is where Jonas Sedaris' second in command is. Get ready for we're going to we're going to talk about uh, that workaround I mentioned earlier. Say. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris' release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. I get it. I release Sedaris so you can take her down and assume control of the game. What? What are you... It's brilliant. You'd earn Arya's respect instantly. Uh... Yeah. You see right through me. 
and that I'd make the deal with Arya. Right? Exactly. You've got this all figured out. Right. Uh, right. Yeah, that's the plan. Let Sedaris out of jail. She won't be breathing free air for long. Good man. Okay then. So, that workaround I mentioned is officially taking place. Not only does Arya get what she requested, that being the release of Jonas Sedaris, but uh, the rest of Eclipse will be pledging their full loyalty to Arya, because thanks to Commander Shepard's persuasive nature, Sane will officially be taking full control of the uh, Eclipse mercenaries when she uh, gets released, or when uh, Jonas Sedaris gets released. And uh, thankfully, Jonas Sedaris won't be a problem for CSEC any longer. Oh, don't worry, Bailey. We won't. And now we're heading back down the, the, the Normandy docking bay D24 because we're actually going to be heading back out into the uh, galaxy to uh, travel to the other sectors that hopefully are unlocked, collect more collectible items, and then return. And you'll see that off camera, I have actually uh, traveled all throughout the galaxy, collected a whole bunch of other items. One of those being the uh, statue for this uh, Volus diplomat which was located within the Strike Abyssal. I have no idea why that section was uh, not unlocking for me earlier in the game. So annoying. And now with that done, we are actually going to be heading back down to the Presidium Commons to speak with that uh, black market arms dealer because uh, we've acqui we also requi acquired the... Um, the uh, rare artifacts that he wanted whilst he was uh, denying CSEC access to the high-end weapons and those um, artifacts are actually located within the kite's nest which uh, that section in question can only be unlocked after you talk to the black uh, black arms dealer in question and I also have been on the grind as well uh, getting uh, a lot more credits Exploring other unlock, unlocked areas, etc., gain much more credits. Like so. Beforehand, I only had like 6,000 credits, now I have 41,000. And I will also be leaving the weapon upgrades for now. I will only be focusing on purchasing the armor, the armor pieces, the armor sets, and the weapons. But on the low end of that list, it will be the armor sets because of how much they cost. So uh, it's just going to be the weapons and armor sets for net armor slots for net armor pieces. Sorry, I completely for I forgot. My brain is getting fried right now. <laughs> All right, then, uh, General Oraka, have you received the shipment? I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's ah, that is very good to know. The black arms dealer actually held out their end of the deal. If they hadn't, we would we we would be having words, very painful words. You're welcome, General. And with that, we are actually going to be heading back out to the Normandy to get back on track with the other side quests and the main story. And we're going to be. Actually, no, before that, we're heading back up to the vendor because I want to double check and uh, make sure that we've uh, acquired that we want to, the stuff that we want from these uh, vendors. Ah, <sighs> we don't have enough. Fuck. Okay, then, so now we're going to be heading back to the Normandy. We're going to be taking a shortcut from the fast travel taxi. And on that note, that is going to bring today's episode to a close, ladies and gentlemen. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do myself a favor. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, along with the bell so you can receive notifications for when new content has been released onto the channel. So join me next time. Like I said, we are going to be picking up the action with the other uh, uh, main story side quests and the main story missions themselves. So until then, I've been Shadowstar91. Stay safe out there. Take care. And I'll catch you all in the next episode of Mass Effect 3 from the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Bye-bye.